worst rapper alive. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Big Mac's back on the mic like oops. Back on the horse, still jumping through hoops. I'm missing Lincoln Pink, I don't lip sync. Just to be clear, choking isn't my kink, but I do it anyway sometimes, I guess. Gotta laugh now, die later in my times of stress. I'm blessed, feeling good, charged up like a Hadouken. Whoa! Welcome to the worst wrestling podcast. You know I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging all the way until next week. However, that is when I will drop a full WrestleMania review. We'll let the dust settle. We'll let the time uh, sink in. Uh, So far, early thoughts, greatest WrestleMania of all time, uh, capped off by probably the greatest WrestleMania main event of all time. Um, Man, just so many emotions coming out of this. So I'm focusing just on the main event. Obviously, Cody Rhodes has finished the story. He is the new WWE champion. And I honestly uh, popped super huge for it, just like everybody else, I think. Um, But when Cena came out, uh, John Cena came out to take on Solo Sokoa, I knew right away, okay, this is the Avengers-style storyline that we were all kind of looking forward to granted i did think it was going to be stone cold steve austin i was there with everybody also uh i'm not super in tune i didn't realize john moxley was like over in japan right now i think uh so when i heard the shield music i definitely also thought john moxley was going to be coming out with seth rollins but uh, no, it was great. Um, you know, John Cena's music hits. He comes down, takes out Solo. The Rock comes down and takes out John Cena. Uh, Seth Rollins comes in full tactical gear uh, and tries to attack The Rock from behind, but is taken out by Roman Reigns. And then all of a sudden, uh, it looks like The Rock is about to beat down Cody Rhodes. And then. The only thing that could replace glass breaking at WrestleMania, the gong hits and the Undertaker hits a choke slam uh, from hell. Uh, And then what was really funny was the way that uh, the rock disappeared with Undertaker, kind of like as if the Undertaker snatched him away uh, using the power of the lights. Um, And then it was just Roman, Seth, and Cody left in the ring, and Roman had to make his choice. And I've seen this uh, espoused all over the IWC. I've heard it on several podcasts already uh, reacting to WrestleMania that Roman Reigns still cannot get over the original sin, the, uh, the, the turn from Seth Rollins, the betrayal of the Shield, uh, when Seth Rollins took that chair to his back over a decade ago. And so he opted to hit Seth Rollins with the chair. And that caused him to then get countered on the spear and eat the triple crossroads. And the longest title reign in the modern era has officially ended. And I will say there was a little bit of irony that it ended at 1,316 days. So I, it does feel like it was supposed to be Stone Cold Steve Austin coming down. Um, you know, that's what I had been predicting all along. For whatever reason, I'm sure we'll find out that, unfortunately, it just wasn't able to happen. And if, like I said, if it wasn't going to be Austin, Undertaker with the gong hit, uh, and also uh, the tie-in, the fact that Undertaker uh, had a match with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and lost, one of the only WrestleMania losses, obviously, on his resume. Uh, and the, you know, Taker's as a person and on a human level has spoken about how he misses wrestling and the fans. And, you know, that that very last chapter of his career um, was kind of in that very beginning stages of COVID. And so it didn't, it wasn't really at the level of like what we just saw go down at WrestleMania. And so I think for The Undertaker, for The Rock, for Cody Rock, for everybody involved, it was this, obviously if glass breaks, 
we're talking about this till the end of time and everybody's losing their fucking minds. I get it. But this, this was the second best possible outcome. I feel like, and it was to me just almost just as good. Um, and then all the emotion afterwards and all the tidbits, uh, that you start finding out about, um, you know, just again, the emotional level uh, from Cody and his friends and his family. Uh, you had guys like QT Marshall and Ricky Starks that were there. Obviously, a lot of the main roster uh, that has uh, personal relationships with Cody. You know, you saw when they were holding him up in the ring, like you could see Randy Orton just beaming. Uh, you know, the way Seth Rollins again shook his hand and was just beaming at Cody. I think. This is uh, as much a feel-good moment internally for this company and for this roster and for this era uh, as much as it is, you know, for the fans. And uh, you could you could hear it and see it in the reactions, you know, uh, going viral. Logan Paul's reaction uh, going viral. Samantha Irvin, uh, her voice cracking and breaking as she delivers um you know the the celebratory exclamation on the mic of and your new wwe champion cody rhodes um and she was tremendous shout out to samantha Irvin. she crushed both nights of wrestlemania so i mean and, and then again it's like everything that starts coming out uh the story about the gold rolex that dusty Rhodes had to pawn uh to keep acting classes going uh, and then Bruce Pritchard, Nick Khan, and Triple H somehow managed to track it down, and they were able to offer that as a gift to Cody Rhodes. Um, hearing Cody speak about his father at the press conference, um, you know, uh, he was asked if he could talk to his dad. He, he said, like, you know, I hope I made you proud, and uh, I hope I did the name proud, and I thank you for the name, and sorry about the tattoo. So, uh, and then even like um, the fact that, and I didn't even realize the fact that Cody's mask uh, when he came out for WrestleMania night two was actually designed by uh, Bray Wyatt's friend and creator of the fiend mask, Jason Baker. Uh, it, it's at Baker, uh, at Baker Jason. Uh, if you want to go give him a follow. Uh, but I mean, like the reactions from Amanda Huber uh, and the wrestling club with Victor Taylor Perry and just all of the Cody Rhodes fans. And honestly, even the reactions from the Roman Reigns fans. Um, and I've seen people trying to clown and troll them online because they're having an emotional reaction to, you know, the end of the of the title reign and, you know, of this hero that they've looked up to and. Yo, know, fuck you and fuck that if you want to shit on people like that. And, you know, I put out a thing earlier. I've always described wrestling to casuals and non-wrestling fans who ask me, well, how can you watch that shit? It's fake. It's scripted. You know it. How can you watch that shit? And I've always said, look, if you go into it thinking like this is a sport, okay, fine, you're going to be disappointed, but that's never how this was presented to me. My father is the one that got me into wrestling. And, um, you know, I sent him a text uh, asking, hey, did you catch WrestleMania? And he did not, uh, he wasn't able to catch. So I sent him a couple clips of like what happened and sharing that moment with my father again, the you know, who got me into it when I was just a little kid, only six years old, all the way back in 1996, dating myself here. But, um, you know, it's getting away from, I've always described it, even when I was a little kid, you know, my dad told me like, yeah, it's, they know, you know, they know the outcome, but like, it's, it's like a stuntman in a movie. And I was like, oh, oh, that makes sense. Okay. It's athletic theater. That's what this is. Hey, I'm coining a term here. It's athletic theater. This is, man, it is. Stuntmen, athletic theater, days of our lives, the Avengers, all mixed into one glorious package. And to quote uh, the Rhodes, Brandy Rhodes first, it's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever need. And it's here right in front of you. This is where you want to be. And from Cody himself, it resonates 
because it's real. And it's still real to me, damn it. That's it. Uh, full WrestleMania recap. Like I said, I'll come back on Saturday at my normal time, 4.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll drop a full WrestleMania recap, full reaction to the week of post-WrestleMania. And until then, super kick that subscribe button, help fuck up that algorithm, and I will catch all of you guys on the flip side. Positive contact results in affirmative impact. Never pull the rise on raps. I'm never primitive, but then I'm ballistic, vicious, characteristic, hereditary potency, epicetic genes, yo. Ever the HMCs at extraordinary speed. Some of the be is like, some of the razor blades and grease in your bare feet. I see your fucking colleagues misprize you very much to your dismay. So today, I can say you won't be running away. Hold your tail between your legs. I'm gonna advocate when you fail before stakes. I'll take a hacksaw to you, cockeyed, mumble rap, slack jaws. Leave you shredded on a side like some coleslaw. The double time with that clothesline.